I'm Pat Gunn, and we're doing a Let's Play of Skyrim. So, we are, uh, in our last Let's Play, we wiped out Alduin, and we are about to go and work on the, uh, the Civil War quest line. And I was just given orders to go steal some Stormcloak orders, and, uh, so that the Legion can mess with them. But while I'm here, I am going to pop down and learn this, uh, Learn whatever this object is uh, here. Do I actually have any perks to spend? I'm wondering. Yeah, I do. Well, that's good. This is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, healing spells restore stamina. And the reason I like this is... You'll notice I'm out of stamina. I can't run anymore. But if I just heal myself up, then I get all my stamina back which isn't just useful in, in cases like this, it's also good in combat because some attacks uh, some attacks use stamina. Now I don't actually remember this in the, being in the game before so I I must admit that my confusion My confusion about this is partly wondering if there's anything I've never discovered in here before. Um, wait, I'm disoriented. Candlelight. Let's see. Let's see if I can't make it easier to see what's going on. Oh, okay. So this the ship is tilted. Very badly tilted, in fact. Sounds like it has some wildlife in it. Yeah, it seems to have some wildlife in it. Um, yes, mud, mud kips. Okay, here's the cargo hold. Ooh, something is hitting at me. Oh, it's... More mud crabs. Great. And there seems to be another door up here. I'm hoping there's a point to my being down here. Okay, that isn't it. Okay, touching that, the white line, moving onto the white line. Okay, I'm in the middle of the white line. Okay, that looks good. Okay, still in the tilty, nauseating cabin. I think that's where, is that where I came from? Might be where I came from. There's a book on by the bed here, but don't see any reason to keep it around. Okay, maybe there really isn't anything all that interesting here. Well, it was a neat diversion. The neat and nauseating diversion. I suppose the game might be more... Oh, clams. There's clam meat in them. Neat. Okay, so... We're gonna head down to the inn here.
and see if we can't mess with the storm cloaks. Yeah, that does not look comfortable for that beast. You don't want to swallow a sword. Probably don't want to swallow a sword if you're a person either. Like you occasionally hear about people who did that as a circus trick, uh, but it is something that it takes many years to learn how to do, and frequently they just end up doing it wrong one day and they die of some horrible injury. Okay, so for this, we're here, we want to head uh, west and slightly north. Uh, it looks like there's a fight over there. So we're going to keep close wounds in our left hand and maybe conjure, uh, conjure a Dramor Lord in our right. Uh, are those guys in a fight? Yeah, it's a Horker versus a Snow Bear. And the Snow Bear managed to kill the Horker. Feeling very heroic right now, running away from a dragon. Or I'm sorry, running away from a bear. Okay, so let's recalibrate where I am. Okay, I want to go almost due north now. I should warn you that my heart has a lot of cholesterol. Okay, so the inn is right up here, and this is where the courier uses... Yeah, this is what the courier uses as his base of operations while he's uh, taking messages back and forth throughout all of Skyrim. to keep my papers privacy. Is? Yes, it's it's in quite a lot of danger. He was. Or you can just wait here. He'll be back soon enough. Oh, I don't think he will be back. If you know what I mean. Okay, so where he is now is a little bit east of here. Let's fast travel back to the Bronzewater Cave. The problem with this guy is even if you do have all of the fast travel points marked, um, he keeps moving, so it's not like you can... Uh, okay, so now he's just a little bit east of us. So you kind of have to get a feel for where he's going to be at any given moment. even have to kill him. Okay, so that's what I need. And we will return to uh, Rika and deliver her the documents to mess with. Yeah, the other two ways of doing that are to either pickpocket it from him or to uh, kill him.
I'm not sure I'm actually going to manage to get Conjuration up to level 100 uh, in this game. I might run out of things to do by the time... by the time I get really high up in the levels. Anyhow... Okay, where is Rika? She is here. Very good. Let's see what you have here. Interesting. They know more of our plans than I expected. It would seem Fort Dunstad is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. One moment while I correct some of these documents. That should do it. Make sure those forged documents get to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... Keep an eye out for storm spies. Here's what I can spare. Let's see if I can sell some of the junk that I don't need to this dude. Uh, don't know why I even picked that up. This is not useful to me. Yeah, more stuff. Apparently, I, I keep on making mistakes when looting. Hmm. Okay, that'll do. Now I need to make... to, to carry this... oh. I guess it's just easier to run straight east to Dawnstar, because I do not seem to have any closer fast travel points. So, east it is. Now this is, I think, a gold uh, gold vein? Looks like gold. No, it's Conundrumore. Never mind. Yeah, gold is particularly useful. And it's one of the few ores that will never be uh, sold to you. Oh. Who are you? Oh, it's a bandit camp. Oh, you guys have fun. So when you see a place like this, <clears throat> like really, really frozen land, is this the kind of place that screams to you, I should build a city here? Because if it is, you're pretty weird. And yet, in the Skyrim myth, some moron decided that this would be a good place to build a city. Say a priest of Mara has arrived in town. We'll see if they can cure this curse. Oh yeah, so there are a few cool they regional. That spell by inheritance. I've been trying to take the last trade we did. Some fun, sailor. If you're not afraid of a little exploring, I'll pay good gold to get those salts. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, some of the quests around here are pretty fun. Wait, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, there's a commander here that I need to talk to. Somewhere. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man Auric is wearing his old legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one 
letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. Wow. My duty is to guard the Unless you're Americans. here to solve this nightmare problem, I don't need you. It's so bright. Okay, so we're gonna pop in and see what is the haps. So we do want to advance the war quest line, but might as well take any other quests that are here and think about doing them later. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. The Jarl is tired. Be mindful of that. Fight? Is that so? I don't recognize you. Why aren't you wearing your Stormcloak colors? I suppose it would be. Good thinking. All right. Ah, good. It's not easy running messages. Why don't you grab yourself a drink at the Windbeam before heading back? Handle the town's safety? What is this about? Cool. That looks like... Oh, that's an enchanting skill book. Don't need it. I am level 100. Nonsense. The best place for our men is driving the Imperials back. I will ensure that men stock at every opportunity for glory. Glory is meaningless if they have no home to return to. I urge you to lower our commitments to the front until I'm sure we're safe. I won't have you rob our soldiers of their chance to that drive spell out looks like the it'll Empire. Hurt. I'm done discussing this yard. Yeah, so he is really, really devoted to the Stormcloak cause. Most of his town actually is not. So he gets in a lot of arguments. Uh, destruction. Well, that's super useful to me. Because I do not, as a rule, cast destruction spells with this character, but... Anyhow. I the divines, I'm tired. And everyone in this town is t uh, kind of tired for some reason. <clears throat> and I'm trying to find the person who gives the quest that's related to that, but I'm not seeing it right now. Okay, who are you? What is it? I haven't had... If you don't mind digging, I own the Quicksilver Mine. It's a better life than working in that damned iron mine. With all those right. This looks like an alchemy shop. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can. No, I don't. How kind. More coin means more supplies, and that means more use. <laughs> He's a fool if you haven't. The people here look to Breen and Merilus when they need things settled. Real firebrand going up. Wasn't surprised when she joined the Legion. Okay, so those are, um... I don't remember... So in the game there are usually some, some merchants who you, you can invest with, some of whom... If it's about the mine, I'm all ears. Sometimes when you invest, you get... I work steel, weapons. Seems like no one is... Excellent. I think... You... Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to... Aye. And Dawnstar is known for its bad luck. We're the last port of fall before Windhelm, and God, the war we so trade tired. makes rich targets Not for pipe. The land is beautiful, but I can't... That's right. I hope one day I'll convince Rustling to take us back there. Until then, I'm content running the forge together with the boss. That was the morning every day. Wondering if you were ever coming home? No, can't say there was. My parents died when I was young. You and the Legion have been my only family. You come to since. Dawnstar at a bad time. You were. Drowning your troubles. Just As for work, time. you could try to catch Scald in a good mood, but your Scald supports Ulf. He's a fool. A dragon has attacked Helgen. I Dawnstar needs your hands the around the leg. now more than ever. I wasn't born in Skyrim, but when I served the Legion, this land came. Okay, so... I'm not quite sure where the person is who gives the quest that's related. Sorry, gotta run! 
That would be Jarl Skald, the Elder. He's over in the White Hall, probably. I own Ironbreaker Mine. I pay a good wage for any iron ore you dig up. If you're looking for work. Can't sleep well, no matter how much you're drafted into a war. How could my life get poor? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So we've been through White Hall. skin says pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Uh, barracks are no good. Um, I really wish I could remember. I guess the inns are normally a pretty good place to catch up on uh, on quests and stuff. I envy you, travelers. Dreams aren't affected. My mother taught me. She was a bard what trouble? From the college in the entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in the she has an awful hunger. I must end her terrible. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me. I've already. I would simply ask that. You Wonderful. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from. Their meaner wrist from her citadel at the center. Who can say? Whatever the case may be. Okay, so that's the really fun and interesting uh, quest. Take a look at this. Follow me. They say Falian or Morthos. Everyone in town knows about the Black Door. And to never go near it. All right. Okay, so. There is that. We've delivered the. Uh, We've delivered the letter to the local uh, legion, I think, and uh, now we're going to return to Rika to see what is next. And we've uh, collected the interesting quests uh, in that area. Now we might return to do them. I think that's one of the towns where you can uh, you can buy uh, a plot of land to build a house that's a little bit outside the city. We might build a second house. I mean, I guess it's not a second house because we now own what is it, three or four houses now? Build it'll be a second build house. And again, the game is yeah pretty goofy at this point. It would be pretty stupid to own that many houses in real life. Well, I'm pretty selfish, really. Dunstad. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldiers, are you up to the task? I knew I could count on you, soldier. Okay, so Fort Dunstad is our next target. Let's find where that is. That is... Uh, I guess Tower of Mazark might be the closest uh, might be the closest point and I can head west and grab some mammoth tusk powder while I'm uh, in the area yeah that makes sense west for mammoth tusk powder then northeast to take the fort sounds good So I think it'll be more east than northeast uh, by the time we uh, we get the mammoth tusk powder. I 
cannot imagine what it would be like to be the first person who is trying to tame a troll. That doesn't sound fun. Okay, Mammoth Tusk Powder, it's just about due west. So, I'm guessing that it is that thing up ahead on the compass. Yeah, it's the big one that we're getting pretty near. So, off we go. And now let's see if we can hop the rest of the way. Almost. No, not quite. Okay. Um. It is... Oh! Okay, so... Let's see, do we have Unrelenting Force? Yes, let's get it equipped. We're just going to make a run for it. Okay. And, uh... Okay, and now we want to head east and slightly north. I mean, northeast. Yeah, it's actually pretty much straight northeast. Northeast. Oh, right back by the, uh... by the giant. Let's see if we can loot his chest while we're here. Oh uh, yes. Well, thank you, Mr. Giant. By which I mean... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, you're pissed, but... I'm a hero, and looting is what we do. Which is just about the worst bit of moral reasoning that you could possibly imagine. Oh, and there's another giant down there. And I want to be heading a little bit... Anyhow, gonna keep on moving. Okay, Fort, so Fort Dunstad is near, and we want to be a little bit to the east of it, so I think the men are probably just about straight ahead now. Yeah, you might occasionally see me doing that. look like our men. What is the haps, my friends? Cuesta. Can't wait to kill another moment. Keep an eye out for trouble. Okay, so here we go. Now, as we did before, I would like to bring some friends into the equation, so... Now, right now, I cannot control two summons at the same time, so I'm going to just let... Oh. I do not like these barrier things. is going reasonably well. Is this one of my dragons? Yeah, it is. Good. And... Oh yeah, 
that dude is one of one of my butts. But yeah, you, you do want to typically make your way up onto the walls to wipe out the artillery. has decided to climb on top of the walls, which is pretty stupid. Okay, time to get out the sword and probably the shield. Is that the best that you can do? Looking good, and I am making my way up to the very top of the walls. And you are not going to keep on hitting us from up here. Looking good. Yeah, so my dragon is doing. Wait, don't hit me! Why are you hitting me? Okay. So... Now that... 100% are defeated, it doesn't actually mean that all of them are dead, it means that uh, at this point they will all just run away if they aren't dead. Now, if you like, you can loot their bodies, I generally don't bother. So yeah, that is the end of... The end of uh, of Stormcloak control of uh, Fort Dunstad, which is actually it looks like it's half town, half um, half fort. Now this this quest is glitchy enough that I'm going to see if I'm going to talk to Legate Ricka again after having done this just to make sure, because I think it'll make it slightly less likely that the game will crash, or not crash, but that the quest will lock up which would prevent me from finishing the Civil War uh, questline. Because unlike the cutscene with Alduin, which is a pretty serious bug, you can usually recover from that one. You cannot usually save the war quest if it gets confused. And I don't fully understand why it gets confused, but I think uh, a lot of the times quests uh, get confused if you do things in the wrong order. And so maybe failing to report back to, to Rika uh, contributes to that. Oh, is Rika not here? Maybe Rika isn't here. Okay, well, then I guess uh, I will not stay there, and I will re report back to Tolius. Skyrim is a kind of weird game to be playing in winter. 
is if you're really going to escape to a world of fantasy, it might make sense to escape from whatever your uh, whatever the nastiness of the kind of weather you're living in is like. And New York City in December is not a particularly warm place. Of course, we are insulated a little bit by being near the ocean. <clears throat> okay. Well, it looks like we arrived at solitude in the morning. Neat. suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes four Yeah, so fletching is the, the name for the profession of making arrows. I guess you could kind of tell that from uh, context. But there are a lot, a lot of those old words that have fallen out of uh, favor when the profession uh, that they um, that they describe is no longer super relevant. Taking the pale gives us another port in Dawnstar and puts us within striking distance of Windhelm. That should make Ulfric a bit more cautious, huh? Battles are won by trained and disciplined men. Wars are won by talented and exceptional individuals. I'm raising you to Prefect. Take this blade as a gift and symbol of your new rank. You've earned it. You're needed in Winterhold. Report to our hidden camp there. For the Emperor. For the Emperor. So this is near Frostflow Lighthouse, it's just a little bit west of there. We're gonna... So another one of those terms that was much more prominent in medieval times that now is not very well known is cooper. And a cooper is somebody who makes barrels. And. Uh, Yeah, there, there are just there are so many of these words that have fallen out of uh, usage. <clears throat> As you can imagine, though, before the age of mass production, a cooper was a pretty important job. People really uh, like. Nowadays, you would just sterilize food and wrap it up in containers and ship it. Oh, there was a dead body there for a second, and it disappeared. That's weird. Okay, so from here we are heading west. Spent enough time underground myself, but I'm going. Yet, um, traveling foods, or I mean, moving fruit, uh, foods from one place to another safely. Uh, and with as little rot as possible, used to be a really big deal. And spices and food actually came about because uh, people needed a way to alter food so that both it would rot slower and people would notice it less when food had gone off. And most of the more successful foods perf uh, performed both of these tasks. Spiced meats were... Uh, 
something to report? Your objective is Fort Kostov. The rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. I aim to turn that into an advantage. I've sent men to scout out the area. You are to meet them, find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. Sounds good. We won't be expecting an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Make me proud. Will do. So, Fort Kotsov is... It's a little bit, a little bit of a ways away. We're going to... Yeah, this seems like the f closest fast travel point. But yeah, uh, so a lot of the Indian spices, uh, they made made it less likely, or they slowed rates of bacterial growth in meats and other foods cooked with them. And salted meats, uh, they typically would um, absorb a lot of the fluids in meats, and uh, bacteria generally would need those fluids in order to begin to eat away at meats and uh, so salt was an incredibly economically important uh, spice just uh, just for for food purposes and occasionally it has been valued uh, well I think that a long-lived quip is that it's more valuable than gold. I'm not sure if it actually... That might be an overstatement, but it was a damned valuable substance for a very long time. Nowadays, we wouldn't even really think to spice uh, foods in order to make them last longer. Well, and we, we use... Uh, we use other spices uh, just to make food taste better rather than to preserve them. Huh, am I heading the right way? Yeah, I guess maybe the men are really waiting quite nearby. Maybe men is the wrong word. Skyrim does seem to have quite a lot of female warriors. Okay, free the prisoners and take over the fort. Sounds good. Sounds like the fighting has already begun. So I'm not sure how the world of Skyrim compares to that of the real world uh, in food uh, in uh, handling of food. Maybe. Uh, Ooh, maybe uh, Bethesda decided that that was an unimportant and uninteresting detail, so there isn't an answer. Uh, we need some light here. It is just too dark in here. And I will be using a bound bow to deal with my foes. So to remind you, the quest is to sneak in here and free the prisoners in the hopes that they will uh, they will be helpful in freeing the fort. Well, freeing is the wrong word. They will be helpful in taking the fort. Okay, so this all seems pretty unguarded. So. So it's not straight up. Let's try a little bit to the right. Yeah. Get me out of here. Thanks. Sometimes now let's try moderately to the left. Okay. Let's teach these bastards. Good. That's ah, moderately to the right. Let's try here and let's 
Whoops. Hmm. Wait, this is a master lock. Why why would this one be a master? Oh, far left but not quite at the far left. Okay, so um just a little bit off from far left. was too far. That wasn't enough. This is after all the white bits. Or after all the initial white bits. Let's see. Please, let's go. Oh, there's nothing in here. Why did okay. That was a waste of time. Move Serana. Move, move, move. Okay, everybody is armed and we are breaking our way out. Thanks. Thought I was going to rot it. So what's the plan? Uh the plan is to kill the enemy. What's the plan? Hadbar? Dude. There's more of them somewhere around here. Lead the way. Okay, so Are there more foes inside? Maybe there aren't. Okay, well then we are heading probably out to the courtyard to start the slaughter. Oh yeah, so coopers were important uh, because you had to be able to uh, have people who would learn how to make barrels that could transport fluids. Uh, they could manage semi-wet things, uh, semi-dry things, to deal with all the preservative agents that you might use. Okay. Okay, there is my dragon, and here we'll get out the dragon, or dragon bone sword. Oh wait, I'm... Okay. Oh, nice. The, the game has put quest markers on top of all my enemies here. So I just need to go and get them. Handy. Okay. So let's keep on moving. Okay, so that is that. So we are going to go report to Tolius and let him know that we have taken the next step in dealing with the rebellion. I'm glad that the the people here seem to be reasonably accepting that a uh, Khajiit vampire is uh, 
helping them out so much. Well, I'm not sure if they know that I'm a vampire, but they would definitely notice that I'm a Khajiit. Okay. Spreading like mage fire. The great evil has been vanquished. You have truly saved us all. to buy fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear radio. Now that we have Winterhold, I can garrison some troops there until I'm ready to march on Windhelm. I have come to rely heavily upon you. It is only fitting that you join the upper echelon. I am hereby elevating you to the rank of Legend. On behalf of the Empire and myself, please accept this gift along with your new rank. Congratulations. Hurry over to our military camp tucked away in the Reach. Alfred's been enjoying those silver mines for far too long. And soldier, you better help me win back Markarth or die trying. It was your brilliant strategy to give it over to the rebels in the first place. I did my very best to avoid that, but it was a precondition to dealing with the dragons. Sorry about that, dude. Maybe I should have said dude, sir. No, I suppose I probably just shouldn't have said dude. Oh well. Hmm, things really look a lot like musical clefts. Particularly in that lower area right beneath the, uh, the jawline. Right beneath and behind. Hmm. Stendar Williams. Okay, so we want to go and get the Reach, which is... Huh, and I guess we have a few other errands that we can handle while we're in the area, so we'll start up here. So Arneal, he gave us a Warped Soul Gem and asked us to heat it up in uh, Dwemer Convectors using a spell that he taught us. And I haven't yet found, uh, found it convenient to do so. But there are two that are kind of on the way to the Imperial camp here, more or less. So I might as well take care of that uh, on my way there. But at the same time, I am getting near the end of this episode, so... I'm not sure if I'll have time. Oh, we'll find out. Okay, so where we're going is due southwest, and a fairly long way at that. So this is south. That is east, this is west. Let's get our tuchus in gear. Okay, hopping, moving, rolling. Looks 
like there's an orc camp ahead. No, I just want to be able to close my wounds so I could keep running. No, oh, someone's shooting at me. It sound, that sounded like an arrow whizzing back. Okay, so that's a orcish city. And we just basically want to head almost straight south now. And that looks like a saber tooth. Not good. Oh, two of them. Oh, great. Just, just what we need. I don't think escape is going to be very high on, on those creatures' minds. It's more, can they eat you up? But we're going to keep on moving. And how are we doing? Okay, almost due south now, and I have overshot. Mark got the direction a little bit off, but it should be right here but i will take i'll show you what this what we need to do in the next episode i'm pat gun this has been a let's play of skyrim